Live from Northern Japan, this is S-Log with Neil Hartman. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the S-Log for 2022. It's probably going to be the final episode. I've missed two weeks uploading videos. It just wasn't possible. I had to move my ice cream shop all the way down to our location in uh, Jozanke. We reopened for the big Golden Week holiday here in Japan. The trees are all turning green here in the valley. It's really beautiful. We've got the cherry blossoms finally in this area. Really, really nice. Up on the mountains, there's still a lot of snow thanks to that kind of cold, cold weather that has stuck around for a while. Hey, you see those cars parked on the side of the road? That is people going out into the mountains to collect and forage for wild vegetables. This time of year here in Hokkaido, we get a lot of wild kind of, there's like a wild onion called the Ainu Negi. Uh, there's like leeks and other little kind of wild vegetables that people go pick. They go up into the valleys, they find them on the sides of the hills. You have to do it right after the snow melts and before all the other wild grasses come up. You have to be careful of the bears. There are a lot of bears and the bears tend to want to eat the same things that we want to eat. After a couple of weeks of not riding and kind of out of the rhythm, I feel like I forgot something. Do I have my boots? Well, I actually had forgotten something. A pair of gloves. But luckily I had some in my backpack. Always a good idea to keep your backpack loaded with basically everything you need. Then all you have to do is just grab the backpack. Okay, we're at the resort. There's still quite a lot of snow left. And for the last day of the season, today, May the 8th, is the very last day the lifts and the gondola will run at our local resort. And for most resorts around Japan, this is really the final day. You would expect kind of warm t-shirt weather people drinking beer but not here it's quite cold and uh, yeah I feel like I need a uh, face mask or something right now okay top of the mountain report here we're at a thousand one hundred meters the cafe in the background there looks like there was a little layer of snow or probably more likely kind of sort of like hail or something but it's like a little layer of white on top of the sort of brown snow left over. We have 150 centimeters roughly left on the snow meter there. So not too bad at the peak, but definitely it's thin at the bottom. You can tell that the staff had to work pretty hard to keep the snow in the right areas so that you can make it all the way to the bottom. Hey, I want to take a minute to uh, reflect back on the season and say, you know, a big thank you to everyone who tuned in, watched the weekly episodes of the S-Log. I really appreciated all of the views, the comments, etc. cetera. Uh, felt like I was able to accomplish something a little new and different this year by doing the weekly episodes. Next year, I'm hoping to be able to do it again and hopefully focus more on people and places, the characters that make Hokkaido and Japan, skiing and snowboarding and mountain culture so special. This year was more about me and what I was doing. Next year, I'm hoping that I can really pick a person or a place each week to focus on and introduce you to. So I really want to spend more time on the S-Logs. I just love it so much. It is so much fun to capture what I'm doing, put it together in a nice little package and share it with everyone who's interested. So again, big, big namaste and thank you for uh, watching the S-Logs this season. Right now you're watching S-Logs only on YouTube featuring Neil Hartman and friends, keep it locked. <laughs>
We got a little slow motion riding going on here. It's kind of sticky halfway down the mountain, but everybody's having fun. One in a million, 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 one in a million. And that's the Asaren crew with 123 days so far this season. Pretty amazing. I know it's me you see for the shine of my reflection. The meaning of your things. Yeah. You can nice. resist my name. Yeah, that's cool. I think we're starting to have a jump in there. <laughs> Purify the mind. Purify the soul. It's time for studio time. Ladies and gentlemen, can you believe this mess on my desk? Yes. Yes, you can believe it. I, I believe it too. Um, I am in the process of moving, cleaning, organizing, reorganizing, preparing. Yesterday I went to Shugakso, which is our local outdoor store here in Sapporo, Hokkaido, Japan. And I picked up a nice sale item. Check out the price. Uh, 3,740 yen discounted from 7,480 yen. So it's like basically half price. I've been needing some new poles. My old Lecky poles are, uh, they're falling apart. They're, they're on their last legs. Ooh, interesting. So this just, I see, it's a fold out. And then what do we got here? Oh, this to lock. Okay, so then that locks. And then we have the extension here up to, stop, 130 centimeters. Wow, nice. They are light. My first impression when I picked up one at the store was they are light and they come with both the summer, uh, what do you call this thing? I don't even know what, the, a stopper, a trail, what is that called? They come with the summer version, the winter version, and they have the yellow and black color combination, which is my One Films color combination as well. So <clears throat> anytime I see a nice product in yellow and black, I just basically have to buy it. Okay, next item is the Oregonian Camper cell block storage case. I am a sucker for cell blocks. There's, there's one from uh, North Face that I've used. This carries all my GoPro suction cup mounts and batteries. And this is just like a little gearbox. Um, I have this one from some old National Geographic camera bag that I don't even have the camera bag anymore but I have the cell block. I love cell blocks. I am planning to use this for camping utensils, dishes, cups, uh, a little burner, etc. All in the case, ready to go anytime. Just grab it, put it in the car and away we go. That is the plan for this. But of course, cell blocks are multi-purpose. It may end up being a camera bag at some point. You never know. Item number three. I discovered also at our local outdoor store, this is a Stanley pour over coffee filter, reusable coffee filter. I kind of just, I like the looks of this one. It's, uh, it's not collapsible, so you're not saving a lot of space, but it has a uh, reusable filter system. It's kind of interesting, you, you know, easily washable, obviously. 
strong, durable. I think that's what the Stanley brand is kind of known for. Stainless steel, BPA free, stainless steel, easy to clean filter, no disposable filters needed, multiple brew volume capacity dishwasher safe. Another good item has arrived. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, that is a wrap. I'm gonna cut it off right here now for the 2022 season. Really enjoyed these S-logs. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back with more. I'm gonna try to put together a best of edit from the last couple of seasons. I have not done a proper movie in a while. I think we're gonna be able to pull it off this season and I will provide that for your entertainment later on in the year. In the meantime, keep the dream alive and we'll see y'all back in Japan real soon. The borders opening up any day now.